dear friends and vinyl community members and lovers of music i wanted to make another video and this is one i will make a series of mandatory metal albums so i want to present in a series some very for me mandatory must have metal albums who should be in my humble opinion in every record collection of someone who really really likes metal so i will take out 10 nice metal albums which i think are mandatory and i will present them and the next year is another 10 and some more so let's see how many uh, mandatory metal albums i can present today we will start with the first 10 really really holy grails of metal not all exclusive of, of course there will be more there are many 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 mandatory metal albums but let want to keep it short to the point today 10 for me i picked them like whack-a-mole 10 very cool mandatory metal albums i want to start randomly i picked them uh, what went into my head so first i picked this classic voivod nothing face for me my favorite voivod some prefer killing technology rare war and pain all are good and all are wonderful but i prefer this for me, this is a really, really masterpiece of Voivod. I also like Angel Red very much. But this has, for me, the best tracks they ever recorded, in my opinion. The Unknown Knows, Nothing Face, fantastic rendition of Astronomy Domain by Pink Floyd. I prefer this version. <laughs> you may stone me and, and shame on me, but I prefer this. This is such an excellent very very wonderful version of astronomy the domain this is the first pick today voivod nothing face original noise pressing of course uh, very very good very very good metal album it it started after killing technology they started to get a little progressive killing technology was more thrash and more metal and more speed and here we have more progressive and technical influences i love that album very much Pick number two today is Fate's Warning, Awaken the Guardian Within. Those who are in the know know. <laughs> this is such a fantastic classic metal album. Fata Morgana, Guardian, Exodus. Wow. No filler, only killer. What a fantastic record. O original Roadrunner pressing this is. From, uh, I think, AD... It is something, let me check. No, it's not there. 86, maybe 87. I'm not quite sure right now. This is such a wonderful progressive metal album. If you like the voice of, uh, I, yeah, I, now I don't know even who is singing. I have to check the singer. Um, this is amateurish, I know. Yes, John Arch. Shame on me. John Arch and Jim Matteo fantastic songwriting duo and fantastic vocals and fantastic guitar work fates warning yeah with the original inner awaken the guardian within excellent mandatory metal album everyone should have who tends to be in favor of progressive metal and really not your common verse refrain verse chorus verse chorus verse chorus stuff excellent fates warning awaken the guardian within mandatory metal album number three i picked judas priest unleash in the east because all the classics are on that record i could have also picked british steel i could have picked uh, uh, defenders of the faith but for me here it's an um, the live album maybe it's not really a live album but those are the versions i prefer of every of those songs they are faster more energetic and what a set list what a set list incredible exciter running wild sinner ripper the green man Alishi, diamonds and rust victim of changes genocide and tyrant only classics i think every metal fan should have this one in the shelf number three judas priest unleashed in the east pick number four german metal yep the flying v's 
except except restless and wild i prefer balls to the wall but as metal as it goes restless and wild is more metal in my opinion and heavier it was such a great release on the brain label i love that record i love all of the songs such classics and for me except means udo i told this in the metal videos all the time this would be my pick number four except restless and wild every metal fan should have this glorious record love it pick number five anthrax spreading the disease it was a toss between among the living and spreading the disease but i think for me personally i prefer spreading the disease it has more melody it has more in my opinion hits on the album in so-called hits i prefer the songs in, in in when i do a comparison i prefer the songs on that record to the among the living both are fantastic but mandatory pick number five would be for me for every metal fan spreading the disease if you never heard AIR, Armed and Dangerous, Medusa, Stand or Fall, woo, you missed out. Glorious record, Anthrax, Spreading the Disease. This is an original Megaforce, German pressing. Wonderful record. Number five, Anthrax, Among the Living. Pick number six. Yeah, I know everyone would pick Number of the Beast. My favorite Maiden album is Peace of Mind and will always be. Sometimes also I vary maybe sometimes and one days I would prefer number of the beast but on most days I prefer peace of mind just because I love how it sounds I love the songs this is an original English pressing original first UK pressing EMA 800 pressing every song is a fantastic song power slave would also be one mandatory pick number of the beast first six maidens are all in my humble opinion mandatory but today i wanted to pick as number six iron maiden peace of mind martin birch he made himself a legend by producing this record i think i love this warm analog sound i love the drums and the guitars on that one bass is always great with maiden but this is for me their reference in sound Iron Maiden peace of mind number six number seven classic the heaviest in my opinion Motorhead album Ace of Spades Overkill Bomber I prefer of those three legendary albums I prefer Overkill original German I think yeah German Bronze suppressing no reissue this is really an original one in mint condition all right Overkill what a fantastic record overkill stay clean pay your price capricorn i like very much metropolis i like very much so uh, this is a mandatory metal pick in my opinion everyone every metal fan should have at least one motor at album either you get no sleep till hammersmith you have all the classics or you get this one or any of the first three orgasmatron rock and roll all are good but this would be my pick for a mandatory metal album let me say they are not metal, but this is as metal as it gets for me with Motorhead Overkill. Pick number seven. Pick number eight. Obviously, I would always pick this as a mandatory metal album for me. This is the reference in Thrash. 29 minutes in your face. Rain and Blood Slayer. Yep, 29 minutes, not a single second is wasted. Fantastic record all-time classic mandatory number eight then i picked today this one as my number nine merciful fate don't break the oath original first pressing roadrunner pressing i don't like the inverted cross crap and the satan bullshit but this is really music from the musical standpoint a formidable a really phenomenal album in works of guitar bass and drums you have to like the king's voice i like it some hate it it's not in the middle but i prefer this album melissa is fantastic but this one even is for me is even better 
I love that record. I love how it sounds. It has this typical peace of mind, maiden, warm, analog metal sound. Love the guitars, love the drums. Fantastic record, Don't Break the Earth, minus the inverted Satan. <laughs> but this is really fantastic music, without a doubt. And as the last pick, number 10, of course, one I have to pick. In when I make a video of mandatory metal albums, I would have picked Kill 'em All, Ride the Lighting, Master of Puppets. But f if it's mandatory, this should be there. This is the peak, this is the zenith of their career, in my humble opinion, Master of Puppets. I wish they would have mixed it differently. For me, still, the uh, $5.89 and Ride the Lightning have the best sounds. I even prefer the $5, $6 EP, $5, whatever. $6, round it up. $6 EP, $5.89. So this would be my dream, that they had the sound for Justice Fall also kind of like this not produced they wrote on the ep on the garage days ep not very produced in my opinion is very good produced awesomely produced i think it's better produced than master of puppets it has much more punch i would love to hear justice for all and this one it has a little bit too much fatiguing trebles but yeah this is the white label promo pressing so this tames the highs a little bit the Roadrunner tames it even a little bit more, it's even in the same category like this. I even prefer the Roadrunner if I'm honest. So, but this has the this has the most balanced sound, and I wish it would be a little bit less fatiguing, but it is like it is. The new one made by uh, Chris Bellman sounds fantastic. It tames the highs and it is less fatiguing, but it doesn't have this. Yeah, in your face, kick in the ass. It has it, but not like this one, not like the white label promo or the Roadrunner. So this would be 10 mandatory metal albums for today, and I think some more will follow. Peace.